So she's getting ready to go back together. Uh, where we left off was I was getting ready. I would pulled all this stuff off. Well, the water pump is in. Um, I've also installed the coolant tube from the other side. Uh, that went in really smoothly. Uh, we replaced the timing belt pulley here on the right. And we've got that torqued in. We got all the water pump bolts in place and torqued to spec. Uh, the block off plates behind these mounting clips have been uh, replaced on both sides. Um, we put the bracket back in on the water pump. Um, we've installed the tensioner, hydraulic tensioner, and the tensioner pulley. Um, I also made sure that these cams were not in the uh, non-areas, and then I moved the crank to one tooth behind top dead center, and that's all spelled out in the manual as well. And um, also, these cam gears are now moved into their, what I like to call their 1030 and their 730 positions. Uh, these are the final positions you want them in before you actually uh, lock them into their final position. Um, I do what a lot of people do. I don't like using the uh, cam lockers because it doesn't allow them to move properly once you relieve the tension. So um, what I use are these uh, 10 by 1.25 inch thread, uh, millimeter thread. Um, I don't know how long that is. It's probably inch and a half or so. And then just get a giant washer for the top of them. And then if you look at the cam gears, there's these two bolt holes. So they thread into there like so. Now, you don't want to go cinching these down. These are just to hold the cam enough to where it won't spin once you get it in the position you want it in. Um, so just lightly put them in like this on both the cams. And uh, once you do that, um, you, then you can hold the cam gear where you want it. But you don't want to stick these in until you've got it turned to the final position. So this one would go clockwise as the instructions say up to here. And then this one would go clockwise uh, to this position here. So that's the final position, but um, to do that you have to move the crank gear uh, one tooth back from final position. So that's where we're at. I'm getting ready to uh, turn these to line up and put on the belt. Thread the belt all on. I don't know if you can see this, but the smiley face is kind of um, vertical. So the eyes are on the left side of the timing uh, pulley. Um, that's the easiest way to get the belt on. Uh, we're going to reposition it a couple of times, timing, uh, tensioning the belt, and that's all in the manual as well. So um, I really don't have anybody to film this while I do this. I wish I had. Uh, there's other great videos that take it from here. They don't explain the gears as well as I have, but um, there's other videos out there that show uh, how to do it from here and how to uh, get the belt on and tension properly. So. Um, Hope you enjoyed this video, and hopefully this will all be buttoned up here shortly. Uh, if you like the video, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned.